And our first main topic today gets sent in to us from Iran Islam, who writes... Thanks to you, John. I binge-watched all seven seasons of Sons of Anarchy. That's a good way to spend your day, my friend. And it is now my all-time favorite TV show. It's in my top three. It's in my top three, too. Top three all-time favorite shows. So you can imagine how shocked and upset I was to hear that Sons of Anarchy slash Mayans creator and showrunner Kurt Sutter has been fired. What does this mean for Mayans MC? And the in development prequel show, First Nine. All right, thanks a lot for the question, man. And yes, Sons of Anarchy is in my top three all time favorite television shows ever. I love Sons of Anarchy so much that we actually, when I was still at AMC, we kind of branded the team over there, Sons of AMC. Remember that? We had the logo, and I still have my Sons of AMC t shirts. I still have them. <clears throat> That's how much we love them. And uh, I love that show so much. And I was apprehensive about Mayans. I admit, I was apprehensive about Mayans. But Mayans is terrific. And I haven't even started watching season two yet. Because uh, I've been waiting for Anne to finish season one. And she's now done, so we're going to start watching Mayan season two now. But I really, really enjoy this show a lot. And Kurt Sutter is the man behind it. Well, Kurt Sutter has been fired. Now, <coughs> it should be pointed out that Kurt Sutter had already a while ago announced that at the end of season two, he was going to be departing. So, I mean, it, it was coming anyway. But I got worried because when I saw Kurt Sutter had been fired for because of complaints, my first fear, I'm sure a lot of you guys thought this too, was that this was going to be over the whole, maybe there was sexual abuse allegations, maybe there's sexual misconduct allegations, blah, blah, blah. Because that's unfortunately the era we live in right now. I was afraid that that's what we we're going to see. Now, it turns out that's not what the people were complaining about. They apparently had a lot of other things to complain about. And so he was fired. Now, apparently a lot of these complaints were revolving around the notion that he kind of started to withdraw himself from the production and wasn't around enough. And then when he was around... It was causing some confusion about the direction the people who were there running things versus things he was trying to do, and it became a big mess. Anyway, in The Hollywood Reporter, they also published the letter that uh, Sutter wrote to the team after he had been fired, and I'll read you some of this. This might be too small on some of your screens if you're looking at this side of the phone to read, but he basically wrote the following. Dear Team Mayans, Apparently, Disney HR and Business Affairs has conducted an investigation into the unacceptable conditions that have been created on the set of Mayans in Season 2. As you know, I've removed myself quite a bit this season, allowing others to take a bigger role in producing the show. It appears that philosophy has backfired. It's been reported uh, by writers, producers, cast, and crew that my absence and subsequent behavior when there has only created confusion, chaos, hostility, and is perceived as abandonment. Or at least that's how Disney's interpreted it, and I'm sure it's true. This morning I was fired by Dana Walden and John Lang uh, Langraf for all the complaints levied against me. Not the way I wanted to end my 18-year relationship with, a with, a with FX. At least being fired for being an abrasive dick would be on brand. <laughs> I deeply apologize if I've made people feel less than or unsupported. My intention was literally the opposite. But clearly, I've not been paying attention. My arrogance and chronic distraction has created wreckage. Just know I adore this cast and crew. Now, he does go on and talk about a few other things as well. But there he is. So it's not having to do with anything that we kind of normally associate, you know, executives being fired these days over. But he apparently withdrew himself. And listen, he does have a reputation of being an abrasive dick. He really does. Like even back in the Sons of Anarchy days, uh, he was known as a difficult guy to work with. But sometimes, you know, sometimes creative geniuses are difficult people to work with. And you accept that, but you can only accept it to a line. And I, it sounds to me like even Kurt Sutter went, yeah, yeah, the way I, I, I approach things probably wasn't for the best and it didn't work out, whatever. Now, it should be pointed out that Kurt Sutter has a larger development deal with Fox in place. And according to the reports, that overall larger development deal is still completely intact. However, being a showrunner and working directly with FX as a network, he's been removed. And it's, and it's unfortunate. All I know is that I love season one 
of this show. I really did. I love season one. I, I haven't got around to starting to watch season two yet, so I can't speak to how his pseudo absence from the show has affected it. I'll be able to speak to that probably in a week or so once I get caught up on everything. But uh, all I know is that this is a dude who made my favorite show, one of my favorite shows in Sons of Anarchy. I've really enjoyed the second one he did. I never did get around to watching that other show he did, The Executioners something. I can't remember the name of it. I never did get around to watching that one. But uh, I love this guy as a showrunner. It's unfortunate it's come to this. But uh, hey, lessons learned. Maybe he'll learn some lessons. This will make him a better show creator and everything moving forward. As far as the original nine goes, I have a feeling that's not going to happen. I would love a show on the original nine, but I just have a feeling that's not going not to happen. And I don't know that the firing of Kurt Sutter is going to change anything one way or the other. Anyway, guys, what do you make of this whole situation? As unfortunate it is, does it catch you by surprise? You're not surprised at all. Have you never watched Sons of Anarchy or mine? So you don't really care about it either way. Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.